Okay. So here's, here's, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, uh -huh. I'm going to, I'm going to point this 99.999% on real estate and real estate agents, but mm -hmm. also it's for everyone. Like it's, it's in general, any small business owner, here's what mm -hmm. most, most try to do. And let, and here's the news feed. So let me refresh this. Whether you're looking at Facebook from your computer, whether you're looking at it from your looking at it from your cell phone, it's the same thing. As we scroll through the news feed, the middle section. So let's mm -hmm. just scroll through and see what our friends are posting and seeing what what's going on, um, and then let's see when we come across a sponsored ad. So here is let's scroll down. There's okay. So here's a sponsored ad. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now again. It could be real estate. It could be whatever. But let's let's in this case, let's talk about real estate. Let's 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 assume this was a, a real estate agent right here. Okay, here's the here's one huge reason, and there's two reasons why ads don't work for real estate agents or for any business in general. Reason number one is most people they'll try to run ads. Look at this is the business page. So this ad, every sponsored ad, it comes from a business page. So when I scroll over this business page or when I look at this business page, I see family love automatically. There's really no connection unless, unless I'm a loving type of person. But when it comes to Facebook, what we're used to looking at psychologically is a name. So as mm -hmm. I scroll through, I see Julie, as I scroll through, I see Stephanie, as I scroll through, I see Leandra, right? We're mm -hmm. used to seeing people's name. That's social media. But when people start to run ads, they start to get creative with their business page and they'll name it something different, which automatically psychologically makes me know that that's an ad. That's problem number one. Problem number one, most people don't even put their, their name right here. And, and the name, the reason why that's important is because it has to blend in. As we're running ads, it has to look like a normal post from my friend. It has to blend in. And the moment you mm -hmm. change that to some business name, it doesn't blend in anymore. That's number one. That has to be her name. Number two, what a lot of real estate agents do is they'll run ads on just a house or they'll run ads on something very generic. As I told you before, I, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this on our first call, like first time around. The number one thing that you have to be doing is branding yourself. Like you have, this has to, that's what I'm saying. This could be a perfect example of a good ad for a real estate agent. Let's say she was an agent. Only thing she's messing up on is the name of the business page. That should be her name. But if it was her name, there's, there's her face. So most agents, they don't put their face out. Most agents don't do video. And I know this personal experience because again, when you come to my personal, when you come to my Facebook page, as I showed you this before, and I'm, this is, this is, I, I always touch on this because this is, this is so important because what most agents do is they'll talk to a handful of colleagues in their office or they'll talk to one marketing person when it's like, I'm trying to tell you, I'm getting all this from personal experience. Since 2016, as I showed you this before, my 5,000 friends, every single one of them is a real estate agent. Every single one. So not only have I, and this is all from 2016, and this is not the same 5,000 from 2016. People unfriend me, I unfriend others, I'll replenish it, I'll request more agents. I'll always keep it at 5,000 fresh agents because this is my list. This is where I get leads from. This is where I get my clients from. It's all from my personal Facebook page because I end up direct messaging just like I direct messaged you. You mm -hmm. and 400 other real estate agents since 2016 that I've helped and done business with. But here's my point. I've been seeing what thousands of agents are doing when it comes to promoting their business. So that's where I'm getting all this from is that when I start to talk to agents, I've spoken to this point thousands. I've seen tens of thousands of business pages. Like I'm not exaggerating. These are real numbers. So I'm looking at what the market is doing firsthand because I'm connected with thousands of agents. Now, when it comes to Facebook ads, no one's doing video. So that's, 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 that's problem number two. Problem number two, the reason why your ads ain't working, bro, the reason why I tell them the guy you're talking to in Los Angeles is because number one, I'll ask them, are you putting your face out? Are you putting video out? The answer will be no. What they're doing and what most agents do and what most business owners do is they'll run generic ads of a house. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what no personal branding. Like I mm -hmm. want to scroll through Facebook 
I want to scroll through Instagram and I want to see people. That's social media. But the moment you just run an ad on a house like that, and then the moment you change your business page name to properties in Los Angeles, it's like all of a sudden there's a disconnect. People are not related to that. I've seen a million houses. What's so cool about your house? Like it's the same damn house. Every consumer has seen a million real estate houses. We've seen real estate everywhere. So if, unless you're putting your face right there, that's why on the first ad that we ran, I wanted your face because that face is everything. And that was just a like ad. Once you start running these ads, so, so, so problem number one, let's go back because I don't want to lose, lose you or even lose myself on what I'm trying to say because I have all the answers to every question you have right now. Number one, it's the name. Most people, you got to check that name. Number two, are they, are they running ads of their face or are they running ads of video of themselves? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the answer is going to be no. And then, and then the third one, the third one, here's the third one, 99.999% of every real estate agent is inconsistent with Facebook ads. They'll run an ad for 15 bucks and then turn it off. They'll do it again next month, maybe for 20 bucks and then turn it off. It, it's like there, I haven't spoken to one and I'm telling you, I've spoken to thousands. I haven't spoke to one agent. This is a fact. I'm recording this call. This call is going to go to YouTube. So shout out to every real estate agent out there. But me personally, I have, I've spoken to thousands of them and I haven't spoken to one that says, David, I run ads every single day. I've yet to meet that person. Now, maybe the friend that you're speaking to, maybe he deals with, with agents that run ads every day, but I highly doubt it. I've spoken to thousands. No one runs an ad every day. So, so it's not a new ad every day. It's just an ad every day. So for example, with your ad that we had running, we were running that for a month. So, so when it comes to lead capture, when it comes to local ads for leads, you want to run a new ad every week. So, so whether it's a new image of your headshot every week or whether it's a new video every week. So if you're running a new video every week, that's a new video once per week. That's four videos a month, one video every week, which is an ad every day. So you run one video for seven days or an image like this for seven days, capture some leads, and then maybe switch out the image and do it another seven days and maybe switch out the image and do another seven days. So you're running an ad every day, but every seven days you're maybe running a different type of ad. Not one has ever said, David, I've done that. Not one. Not one, not one. And again, your friend, again, he speaks to a lot of people as well. Maybe he does speak to people like that, but not me. And, and I'm also willing to bet that he hasn't spoken to as many agents as me at all. Like I'm willing to bet. I've spoken to thousands not, and, and, and all on this topic, not about, hey, let's do business and let me do your loan. No, I'm talking about this. Like on this exact topic, I've spoken to thousands of agents and not one can say that. Not one runs ads consistently. That's problem number three. And then problem number four, so let's recap. Problem number one, the name. Problem number two, they're not putting their face out, whether it's image or video. Problem number three, they're not consistent. Problem number four is what he was, what he's referring to, and this is where you get a bunch of junk leads. And, and the reason why, let me back up, the reason why a person would even be getting junk leads is because they don't know who the hell you are. They don't know who you are. That's a random picture of a house. That's a random picture of some, I don't know, some city picture of some something stupid and random there's no personal branding so people are opting in but they're thinking that they're opting into some company they're thinking that they're opting into some advertisement they're thinking they're opting into some random ad they're not opting into you that's the problem so people are opting in they're putting a bogus name and email because they don't know who the hell it is they're not seeing a face here. They're not seeing a face in the profile picture. Not only is she changing her name, her name's not family love. Not only is she changing her name, but she's not even putting her face in the profile picture. So that's like, no, there's no connection there. So if I click on this, I'm going to give her a wrong number too. So, so here, here's, the, here, here's where you get a lot of wrong numbers. So now let's go to the actual ad. Here's where a lot of agents tend to run ads or try to run ads is they try to go lead generation. Lead generation is when, is when, is when Facebook provides you with a lead form. So for example, as I'm scrolling through the newsfeed, let's just, let's actually, let's click on, actually that's a shop now. That's a little different type of ad. Um, but let me, 
let me see a different, let me, let me scroll down and let's, let's look at a different ad. So we're looking for sponsored, um, sponsored, sponsored, here's sponsored. Okay. So look, here's sponsored, here's video. Look, this is a different, different type of ad. Andy. So right away, I think that that's my friend. Automatically, psychologically, it doesn't look like an ad. There's his name, there's his profile picture, and there is Andy. That's him. That's a different type of branding than your generic house. So I'm here to tell you, real estate agents, they don't do that, nor do most business owners. Most people are afraid of a camera, even you. You're afraid of the camera. So you're not, if you're not willing to put your face out there like that, no, one, no one's going to know who the hell you are. Mm -hmm. So how do you expect to capture leads? And, and, and what blows my mind is how branding in real estate is everything. We'll put our face on our business cards. We'll put our face on a decal on our car door. We'll put our face on a billboard or a bus bench on Sunset Boulevard, but we won't put out video. And, and, and what also blows my mind is that you know so much, not, well, you, but I'm not just picking on you. I'm talking about everyone in general mm -hmm. in real estate. You guys know so much about real estate. It's not even funny. Like you're licensed, you're a professional, you have all this information and knowledge. You could tell me about foreclosures, about forbearance, about short sell, about FICO scores, debt to income ratio, my credit score, my, my tax returns. You could tell me everything about real estate, but the moment the camera comes on, we're afraid to talk. So, so most people are afraid of the camera and they're not even willing to put themselves out there. So they hide behind no profile picture. They hide behind changing their, their business page name to something real estate ge generic. And then they hide behind a, an image that's not even them. And then, and then, and then they end up coming over here to Facebook and they want to capture leads. So they end up going with lead generation and lead generation. Again, back to this over here, this is most likely not a lead generation ad. This is a conversions ad. And the way I'm going to be able to tell is if I click on learn more, and he takes me off of Facebook. So 99% so of marketers who actually know what they're doing do not use Facebook's lead form. A lot of real estate agents use Facebook's lead form because they're too cheap to pay for their own. And so your friend or whoever, they're running ads under this objective, lead generation. They're using right. Facebook's lead form and when you use Facebook's lead form, the reason why a lot of it is junk leads, because when you use Facebook's lead form, you click the button. So going back to the ad, you click the button and automatically Facebook's lead form pops up right here in front of my face. And that mm -hmm. lead form is already pre-populated. It's pre-populated with information, the person's name, the person's email. But what if that email is not the email that's connected to Facebook? Or what if that email is not even their, their email anymore? So you end up clicking learn more, Facebook's lead form pops up, information is already pre-populated, and then that lead can press submit. So that information being pre-populated, the, the lead didn't fill it out. The information is already pre-populated. So a lot of times that information that's pre-populated is wrong information. And once I click submit or once the lead clicks submit, that person, the advertiser, the agent gets that lead. And a lot of times that information is wrong. Yeah. So, so, so nine out of 10 marketers that actually know what they're doing, they do not use lead generation. They mm -hmm. use conversions. And what that means, it just means that when I click on learn more, let's see where Andy takes me. Cause Andy, he knows what the hell he's doing. I know who this guy is. If I click learn more, look where he takes me. He takes me off of Facebook to his own page. That's what you have to do. So, so nine out of 10, actually I'll say 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 real estate agents that just think they know what they're doing. They're not using conversions. They're not running conversions to a page off of Facebook. And that's the biggest problem. They're running lead generation, depending on Facebook's lead form, when Facebook's mm -hmm. lead form is going to provide a lot of wrong information on that lead form, you have to take them off. When I click on that, learn more. When I click on learn more, you have to take me off of Facebook. Take me over here where there's a headline, a few bullet points, and there's only one button. This is not a website. This is a web page. Yeah. 
And, and, and here's another problem. Here's another problem. If an agent is actually taking me off of Facebook, so let's say they're not running lead generation, they're running conversions, so they have the right idea, but when I click on learn more, they're taking me to their fancy website. They're taking me to their Remax site, their KW site, they're taking me to their Coldwell site, they're taking me to their full-blown EXP site where there's a bunch of stuff going on. When I yeah. click on learn more on this guy, look, he's taking me to a web page. There's nothing up here. There's no contact us, meet the team, directions to the office, 15 other listings, click here mm -hmm. for a consultation. There's none of that crap. It's one page. There's a headline, three bullet points, and one single button. I click on that. That's the lead capture. Now, what happens? I actually have to come here and physically type in my information. And so for someone to do that and go that far, that's someone who was interested especially if they've been seeing your face every day mm -hmm. for the past four weeks. Right. Totally makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? so, yeah. so here's the deal in real estate. Look, I see it by the, I, look, let me go to, let me go to um, a real estate group that I have. This is a real estate group that I started, you know, a, a couple years ago. There's, there's 4,700 real estate agents in this, in this group. Now I'm the admin. Um, this is my, my Facebook group here. Um, and I have real estate agents that come in here and post their listings. And so look, what most agents do is they'll, they'll just post their listings everywhere. And, there, and, 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 and here's just a button to message them. So if I click there, it messages them, but that's about mm -hmm. it. That's not an ad. These are just random, random posts. But here's what I'm trying to say. Let's see if I can find one that actually has a link. Let's see, so, because this is what most people will do. Most will run an ad. And then if they are running conversions and they're trying to take me off of Facebook, let me show you where they end up taking me. Let's see if I can find one that actually has a link. Um, just listed. Okay. 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 Perfect example. Let's see where this person takes me. And this is the last, the last problem. Okay. Okay. Perfect <laughs> example. Perfect example. Here's the last problem. And I, I know I said a lot of problems here in this last, 10 minutes, but I'm recording it so you can always play it back. Um, mm -hmm. But here's, here's pretty much the last problem. If I'll, I'll give Judy the benefit of the doubt and I'll say, okay, Judy, you know what you're doing. You're running conversion ads. Let's go back to the, you're running conversion ads, Judy. You're not doing lead generation. You're not depending on, on Facebook's lead form. You're actually running conversions. So good job. Let's imagine this was an ad and she's running a conversions. Here's what 10 out of 10, well, I'll just say nine, nine out of 10 agents will do. They'll run the ad. Let's say this is an ad. It says sponsored right here at the top. I'm seeing it in my newsfeed and this is an ad. She's running it. Here's the images. And then, and then, and then here's the link. So here's what most agents will do. I click on learn more. And rather than coming to a page that looks like this, mm -hmm. rather than, a, and then coming to one single page, this is a, this is a page for a listing. This is a page that you should be running an ad to get instant yeah. access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. And all this can be edited. This is just an example. Yes. This is my page. But here are a few bullet points of the property and then one single button. Very similar to this guy over here. Headline, mm -hmm. few bullet points, one single button. Here's my page, headline, bullet points, one single button. They click on that, view all 17 photos now, they enter their name and email, send me the details. Mm -hmm. That is one page, but here's what agents do. Agents will not send me to a one page thing like this. When I click on that, when I click on this agent's ad, she's taking me to a full blown website. Yeah. So if you're taking me here, home, view and search listings, buyers, sellers, local resources, phone number, reviews, all this shit on here that just is distracting. She's marketing a listing. It's one property. Why are you sending me to a full-blown website where all of a sudden I'm going to be on a bunch of other stuff? Before you know it, I'm on your blog. Before you know it, I'm looking at reviews. And before you know it, the food is burning or my kid is crying and I got to go. <laughs> yeah. But you paid for that ad. You paid to get me to click. You just sent me to the wrong page. Right. right. That's why That's they're true. not capturing leads. That's why, 
That's why ads aren't mm-hmm. working because it's more basic than, than anyone can imagine. Like this is basic stuff. They're just not running the right objective. It's conversions. They're not mm-hmm. taking it to a page off of Facebook to capture a legit lead. They're not putting their face out in that ad. They're trying to hide behind the camera. Right. No, that's it makes what it's sense. all about. That, 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 mm-hmm. That's just the bottom line why most real estate agents do not capture leads and most business owners, because now from 2016, this is all I've been talking to are real estate agents. But as I started building my YouTube channel about a year ago, now I have momentum on my YouTube channel. And now I'm having a lot of different type of business owners find me on YouTube and reach out to me for consultation. Right. As I speak to other business owners as well, they're all afraid of the camera too. And it's like, that's why your ads aren't working because social media is personal branding. But if you don't want to personal brand yourself, then, then, then social media marketing might not be for you. That's right. You know, and it's very expensive. Look, yeah. look, look, this person right here, this could easily be an agent. If I mm-hmm. kept seeing her and she's running an ad, Eileen, there's sponsored, there's her face. If yeah. I kept seeing this every single week, every, if I kept seeing that every day and she mm-hmm. wasn't just pitching a listing, she wasn't just pitching an open house coming up. Let's say she was putting out a video every week mm-hmm. on the topic of selling. So right here, she's educating me. Right here, this is a this is a one minute video. Watch this. Scroll it back. This is a fifty four second video teaching me what it takes to sell. And every week, she has a new topic. Hey guys, this is Eileen. This week, we're going to talk about curb appeal and the importance <laughs> of making sure that your landscaping and this and that is up to date. So when you go and list your property, your value is there. She could easily be dropping one new weekly video educating me on the process of selling oh and and then here's the last thing here's the last thing and at the end of the video let's say she's a a listing agent here's the last thing here's what most people here's what every agent does not do and every business owner here's the last thing what 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 agents are not doing is they're just what they are doing is they're pitching everyone's pitching how awesome they are everyone's pitching no Mm -hmm. one is giving away value So imagine if she was educating me on the process of selling. And at the end of the video, she said, hey, guys, and by the way, I put together a 2020 seller guide. It's nine pages, and it consists of all the tips and strategies that we give our clients when they go to sell. The education, Mm -hmm. the tips, the strategies, what we tell them to do for the paint, the renovation, the kitchen, how they should update their roof, all the things that homeowners need to know to position their property for the best possible price point is all in this nine page PDF and I want to give it away for free. So if you click learn more, if you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free seller guide. Mm -hmm. Talk to you guys soon. So what she's doing every week is she's educating me on the process of selling. She's giving away a seller guide. And she's right. capturing leads in her local backyard. That's the yeah. last thing I have for you. No one is giving away any value, no, which, which is educating me via video. No one's doing that. And no mm-hmm. one's giving me a, a tangible, physical PDF that I can put in my hand that's going to educate me on what they're talking about. Right. So if she right. was giving away a seller guide and I can come over here and download it and read it, with my wife at home while we're drinking wine, like that's value. And, mm-hmm. and, and if I kept seeing her in my news feed, if look, she stands out just like you, you got a good look. If you were on <laughs> video, you would stand out. Yeah. Thank and for you, you to think mm-hmm. that that's expensive, that's another thing that blows my mind. Mm-hmm. For you to think that 600 a month for local branding and capturing leads and taking over Los Angeles is a lot. I don't, that, that's another thing. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That, that, that's another, <laughs> another thing that blows my mind with real estate agents. Like, I know how much you guys make. I was a loan officer. Like, I know how much we make. So, so not, and, and let's just say you're not even selling million dollar homes. Let's say you're selling 500,000. Like, mm-hmm. what's your commission on 500K? Right. For us to say we won't put 600 into, into a monthly campaign, it blows my mind. And I get it. Everyone has no. expenses. Everyone has liability. I get it. Everyone has overhead. I get it. But this is important. Yeah. It's like marketing is everything. And that, yeah. And, and yeah, it's like, 
it blows my, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind. Like we'll be the first <laughs> to get that $10,000, $10,000 commission check and hit the mall. We'll be the first to go get that bag or those shoes, but we won't market our own business. Like That's it blows true. my mind. It blows my yep. mind. Yeah. No, no. So, Makes so, sense. This was great. No, this totally, you answered all my questions and yeah, concerns. So, and, and you don't have to start, you don't have to start that, that high 600. Like you could start half that and Facebook doesn't even bill you all at once. That's the good mm -hmm. thing about Facebook is they bill you once per month. So mm -hmm. if you started ads on the first, they don't bill you till the 31st. Mm -hmm. So you have all month to run ads all month to capture leads. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's the good thing about Facebook is that it, it's, 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 it's not 600 up front. Like, right, right. And, and you would start at $10 a day with video, mm -hmm. just roll out some videos. But again, no one wants to do video. Right. right. You know, so, no. so that's why like that type of branding for me to see her in my newsfeed every single freaking day. And all mm -hmm. she's doing is giving away a seller guide. That's right. That's powerful. Like yeah. that's powerful. She would be mm -hmm. the queen of real estate after just a few videos, after four or five videos, I keep mm -hmm. seeing her. She lives down the street. She's given away education in the video. She's given away a seller guide that I can download and read. She's, mm -hmm. she's queen. She takes over. She dominates. That's all it okay. takes. And no one, no one's doing that. No one's doing that. Let's, let's do it. You know, it just comes down to the budget. I mean, it comes down to having right. the budget. It comes down to, to, to being comfortable with video and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and just educating. It's not about, it's not about high produced Hollywood video like no this is this video right here was shot in a park on her cell phone right like there's nothing to it like nothing that's natural light she doesn't have a green screen or a light you know production like no. it's that simple like it's that simple and no one does it yeah so when you when you when you can reach out to me and say david i'm comfortable with video david i have the budget let's run then that's when but that that, that that's when we can run but to tell you the truth that's why I don't, I don't even take on monthly clients no more. That's not even my business model. My, my business model is not to retain clients. My business mm -hmm. model is to teach you how to do it yourself. And then you go spend whatever the hell you want to spend. Mm -hmm. most don't have, most agents don't have the budget to hire your friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't. Most agents aren't doing the video and most agents aren't closing deals every, uh, every month. And most, most agents don't have the monthly budget to retain a marketer. So I don't right. do it that way no more. I don't want to take you on as a monthly client. What I would do is I would teach you how to run these ads yourself and mm -hmm. then just be your, just be your consultant on the side. Right. That's, that's what right. I do now. I teach agents how to do it themselves. Okay. So they can good. spend whatever the hell they want and not have to, not mm -hmm. have to, not have to stress out that, Oh, I gotta, I gotta pay 1500 every month for David and for the ad. No, it's like you spend whatever the hell you want. I'm going to teach you how to run these ads and you go spend whatever the hell you want. Okay. And you gradually right. learn, you know, that, that's okay. kind of, that's my model today. That's what I do now. Okay. Once you stop recording this, I have a couple of things to tell you. <laughs> okay. That was, we're done.